माई डियर चाइल्ड द टाइम हैज कम टू टेक अ थिंग्स टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल नो न्यू एनर्जेटिक डोर्स हैव ओपन फॉर यू एंड दे आर ब्रिंगिंग न्यू कॉन्फिडेंस एंड फाइनेंशियल इंडिपेंडेंट फॉर यू इन द अपकमिंग डेज as this abundance mixed with some unexpected things beyond the doors your angel wants you not to back your move and embarrass every chaos that can come with it so my child no as you have started taking your life seriously and inviting only healthy conscious connections into your life the universe thinks now you are ready for its greater plan so it is going to put its divine plan in motion in which you may experience many dramatic but much needed changes so it's going to put its divine plan in motion in which you may experience many dramatic but much needed changes as these changes are the key to take your life in the direction of your soul mission with more confidence and financial independence it is needed to trust this process and not to fight against it as by doing so you can prevent the best thing in your life from happening remember this is not the time to take a break and view changes as positive or negative you have tapped into your limitless determination and will power and tune into a higher frequency that is guiding you towards a new era of success and happiness so now you can't move back the steps have been designed for you that are bound to take you in your soul guidance so you have to align your thoughts and actions with your soul call it any cost but if you feel more chaotic in taking some decision you can use the power of water to clean your auric field and wash away any unnecessary thoughts For this you can make affirmations with water or take a shower with water visualizing water is washing away any negativity from your auric field and giving you its spiritual wisdom to think something new and prosperous So my child remember you have a vital part to play in this world you have to share your new wisdom experience in more amazing and powerful way with this world so just be more open minded and reclaim your own new blueprint to success and happiness by embarrassing this change as it is for your highest good and take you to the top so my child know that this time of the year is very magical also mysterious and as we prepare to win things down 
also everything in is moving energy around but there are times you are at total standstill and feel stuck the key is to say positive affirmations and move forward things may be very stressful so this is the time to stay grounded everything happens for a reason to get you stronger and you would not be where you are at today if something did not happen the way they did try not to look at the past but focus on the future you have accomplished so much that you fail to give yourself enough credit for you are evolving spiritually leave it to god and release and surrender energy that no longer serves you be aware that positive new beginnings are coming when you have a faith and believe in yourself so focus on the positive side of your situation and push away the negative you will be attracting the love back into your life so have a courage that to face challenges and that you have so much love in your heart you can get through any situation as long as you take time to put yourself first and focus on you my child know that there is a bit of battle going on for you and you may be struggling to find a way out of it right now believing that there is not a solution that is realistic the battle is between your mind and your soul you know what you want but you are not fully trusting that the universe has your back on this so when you have been in position of controlling your path it is hard to step out of that and place your complete trust in the divine and what your soul is telling you it takes time to break out of this your mind will be going through all the logical reason why things don't seem realistic and why things could fail but you are being guided towards this for a reason your soul is not wanting to lead you to something that can't work out so it is trying to lead you to something in your divine plan for your life and when you envision things going right you see how it's your path to a happier life a joyful life with more fulfillment but you have to do more than envision it you have to step into this life to take the chance on it give yourself a chance to celebrate breaking out of your comfort zone the divine already has things lined up ready for you to do this so the seeds have already been planted and it needs you to nurture things but it does not need you to rush you can take your time focus on things bit by bit rather than jump in the deep end and hope for the best focus and determination in your own time is enough to get things moving in the right direction and if you do things this way you will build your confidence so that you can leave that inner battle behind and let go of your fear surrounding this when you were a child you were probably reasonably fearless you dream big dreams saw possibilities rather than obstacles
and had a great determination about you so my child know that your most difficult moments were not for nothing being taken advantage of thought you to value yourself more being disrespect thought by to express yourself more the instability taught you that peace was one of your primary desire you can heal while keeping the growth that was swept through your past you are in the process of creating an entirely new life now and embarrassing all that got you here is an undeniable awareness of strength you can heal while keeping the growth that was par through your past you are in the process of creating an entirely life now and embarrassing all that got you here is an undeniable awareness of strength so my child know that i hope you learn how to forgive yourself for staying longer than you know you should have i hope you learn how to forgive yourself for loving someone who could not value you who could not meet you where you are i hope you learn how to forgive yourself for the mistakes you made while you were navigating your healing while you were just trying to deal with the weight of being human i hope you learn how to forgive yourself for accepting less than you deserved I hope you learn how to forgive yourself for what happened to you. I hope you learn how to forgive yourself for caring so deeply. For putting so much of your heart and your energy and your effort into human beings who could not keep you safe. I hope you learn how to forgive yourself for all of the things that keep you awake at night for all of the things that you have allowed to convince yourself that you are not worthy of the beauty that is reaching for you I hope you learn how to forgive yourself for not defending your heart I hope you learn how to forgive yourself. I'm sorry that the world was not always kind to you, but I'm proud of you for being here. So my child, know that what assets do you have right now that you are not taking advantage of? what answer prayers are going acknowledge what glimmers of progress are going unrecognized what little spark of interest or possibility are attempting to grasp your attention and which heavier weights of fear and decided failure bearing down upon them and extinguishly your consideration before they have really been seen so in what ways are you short changing your potential in what ways have you taken yourself out of the arena before you were ever really in In what ways are you guarding your heart by hurting it 
as though you could safeguard by desanitizing when your disproportionate focus upon the ways in which you might not be enough or scare teaching them into your head enough to start fighting with your heart in what ways are you already playing that if you could imagine what it was all taken away from you tomorrow what would you most regret not being grateful for or not seeing for what it was while it still was there in what ways are the doorways of opportunity outlining themselves along the closed walls of your perception and what courage might you need to muster in order to realize that this very moment contains within it the unlikely entry way to what you have been asking for along so we live as though it is all a given an endurance game that life is something that is only to be tolerated as though we could shield ourselves from the hurt by not taking the risk when the only real risk is not giving it all while we still could failing to live on the edge of our hope our faith not doing what we wanted to do while we could still do it so not loving the people who were in front of us while they were still there not being who we had the capacity to be while we were still in the moment